Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last video, we, we saw how to put this template into Laravel project. So here, what I did is master page, all this code we have put into our, uh, this collection we have put into our, this all Laravel master page. So in this video, what I did here is, we have a, this code, this master page, which has a HTML tag. After that, body, body have, we have uh, we have uh, body tag i need only this heading and footer this one only we need it. okay this menu and this hero section only we need this is called as hero section but this product display part we have to put into my databases what are the products are there what is the product, the product we have saved okay already we, uh, we the product save section we already done the products this pro sorry not products hotel uh, hotels Sorry. all hotels this hotel i want to show these images i want to move into like moving like this so here what i did here is this is my template master template this is my html file inside the html is all the default it's there only what i did here is i have to only the heading section header section i keep i keep only the header section Okay, after that footer section also I keep. Okay, this footer section means this footer section we have keep. Okay, so the middle area, the middle content of the area, I would change it. What are the, what is it, how I change it here is, it's called as heel cut. Okay, this content means, this con this adder and footer section of the site, which will be, uh, all the pages are same. The would add a section and footer section only the content section of the website would be changed if you click on the about all the other function and the footer sections are same only the content section need to be changed so what i did here is this is called as heel content this heel content should be changed each and every page so what i did here is i i have moving to i have moving to this heel content i have created the separate page home.blade.php okay so here here this home.blade.php so here the view the views folder right click new file i have created as home.blade.php okay this page i have pasted into the that middle section okay this middle section the middle section it consists of many here this template consists of many products data so i i keep only one card this section only card other all the things i have removed Okay, so we have to loop it to getting from the databases for that data so how to loop it so here we have here this is the section the section started here close it here so you can see here here first one what i did here is extend master master mean i need a header page and footer page of the master page so the master page so we have the master this is a master we are called as we coming what the things this is the header section this is the header section and footer section in between header section and footer section, this is a heel content. If you put heel content, we have put into here, we call it here. Uh, after that, it will be coming here. Heel content, but you are written here, this heel content will be coming here and load the page. It separately we have shown. Okay, this is the efficient way to do the program. So what I did here is, this is a section part. This section part, which is look like this section. So what I did here is, I already we have images. Okay, we already have the same images, so all things are there. This is coming from all of, all hotels. Okay, so what I did here, as you can see here, you go to the controller section. This is a controller section. We have, earlier we only saw the form only. So here, what I did here is what about what are the things we have, we need to load only the, the hotels information we have to load, we have shown to the home page when the uh, guest log into your website. They, they they need to show the hotels. Okay, then only they. Uh, the, they, they need to check the hotels and rooms after that he is going to book whether the rooms and all okay so first we have to check how the hotels look like this okay this one here this one i already this image is with okay so here there is an index function hotel controller index function what i did here is we already we have a models hotel models we all the hotel information we have to get into uh, show into our home page so what i did here is so we response hotels this hotels mean this is we have 
this uh, new ob this web object we have create this method hotel here so what i did is response hotels this hotel mean you have got this hot, uh, hotel all mean it will assign this hotel is coming here get all the hotel information assigned to this hotel it it will be it, it will be written back to my home page here get all the hotel information written back to my home pages early only the home pages display now this this function what does says when the when when the user come on home page so what is there is it's get all the it will be load the all the information so how to load it so you have to write a constructor this hotel new construct we are your uh, hotel model is resided we have called the path okay here here we are this is the model where it will be communicate with the database to get the data from the database table and fetch into the control so it getting here out of the period path get to all the information and response it will be loaded here this name this name data will be coming as a response so response so it getting to your home page here I'll write the for each loop the for each loop the for each loop you can write it here above this only this area we have to put into okay don't put above only the this area we have to load it for each mean how many data is available it will be loop loop it to load the data so you have to write this is the uh, this this all things i i just copy from this template and put it put into them okay we, we i'm not writing anything else so here you just know how, how the bootstrap functions work okay the how to write these all things okay this all the template yeah, i have edited so what in the thing is here you have to write the for each loop you have to get the same name what's the name you are written here the same name home control the same name you have to getting the data via come their data as a key this hotels so what's the key what's the thing is here we have to write the images we have to tell the images where are resided on so you write asset folder storage hotel image reside on the images after that hotel name i want to get the hotel name okay this hotel name this prices i just put it like this okay at the moment we have removed this one we don't need the prices okay so we have one button called view option Okay, view just the view view option okay we have if you click on this view button i need to show up all the rooms and all after that there is there will be the quantity you have to book the hotels that's the thing you have to do it here that's the thing you have to do it over here so let's let's if you are the for each loop is started here for each loop is close it here simple way i have done it here. okay so i have a routes here the routes this already we have in our last class we have showed this one okay right okay here. when the when the route get all it scores to slash it's it scores the home control index action method here we have provide the path as well so it goes the home controller index action method so here we have created the construct we have created the model path where your hotel uh, model is resided we have to pass the object here to create the object here we have write this we have to load all the hotel information you are passing as here response it is coming as a response object okay? it will be written to the home view so where's the home view this is the home view here it will be load the data that's the thing yeah. okay i hope you guys you understood things well uh, if you have any doubt uh, you can ask me if you love my channel please subscribe me like me uh, thank you for